Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Mike here at Weeby Autos. Today we have a gorgeous car, 1971 uh, Camaro Z28 split bumper. It's uh, got a 402 under the hood. Got the owner here, he's gonna tell us a little bit about it. How are we doing today? I'm doing great. Man, what a nice car. A little motion going on here, huh? Yeah, yeah, a uh, little motion action stripe. Okay. Um, I actually lived the days of motion and uh, my buddies, half of them work there. Wow. As mechanics. I know the original uh, painter for motion, a fellow hmm. named uh, Gary the Local Brush, Gary Kupfer of Merrick. Yeah. And uh, he introduced these stripes to Joel Rosen, the owner. Uh, back in the day. So he was the curator, kind of, of that stripe. He was the curator of this stripe, that's correct. Man, how cool. You don't look that old. <laughs> oh, thanks. I take that as a compliment. <laughs> of course. It's just so cool to live in that era. I mean, God, it's when it was all done. Yeah, it was, it was, it was definitely different. So what do we got under the hood? 402? We have a 402. Mm -hmm. Now what's unique about this car is besides the split bumper from yeah. 1970, it's a generation two of course, yep. generation one ending in 69. Uh, it's the first year of a factory 30 over, original 30 over, huh. hence the 402. So it's a 396 slash 302, uh, 402. It's 396, 30 over, 402. Correct. Oh, that's cool. From the factory. Yeah, a lot of Montes came with these. Well, a handful of Montes. I shouldn't say a lot. Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. So, uh... Yeah, it has blueprinted heads. Okay. I cc the chambers. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got a little bit of a lopey cam, not too lopey. Uh, very good. Oops. Runs on pump gas. Manageable around the street. Very manageable. Mm-hmm. You know, just enough chrome under the hood to make it sexy without being a true show car. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I just jump in it and I drive and I try to clean clean the thing, uh, Yeah. at least after every time I take it out. Sure. Power steering, power brakes, looks that's, like a... That's correct. And uh, one of the assets to this is, if you look over here, I'll bring your attention to the factory yeah, air on the dash, and that could be hooked up again. Sure. Uh, we dis disconnected it because we didn't want to deal with, you know, the extra triple pulley mm -hmm. on the damper pulley and... Uh, the condenser and compressor. Sure. So you got um, Holly 650 double pumper under there? No, that's a 780. 780, there you go. Yeah. So she's got some juice. I would say that it... it hooker headers. Yeah, hooker headers and a complete uh, stainless exhaust. Flowmasters? No, no, I believe that the Dynomax. Dynomax, those are nice too. Very, very nice. And uh, inside we got the buckets. Looks pretty yeah, original is, in here. This is also the first year of the, the high back buckets. Mm -hmm. Completely original interior. The center console, very, very nice. Added gauges. Those are nice gauges. Those are the Sun Pros. Showing 66,992 miles. Right. The interior is gorgeous. And that is original, as you could tell from the headliner and yep. et cetera. Yeah, the interior is fantastic. Yeah, you'd be hard pressed to find this car. I found this car on in the Indiana Kentucky border years ago, mm. and um, it was garage kept, obviously. Yeah. And wasn't used much. Interior looks pretty original to me. And it's a real Z28? No, it's, it's a clone. Not a Z28. I can tell you the story behind that. It's actually yeah. an original uh, SS car. You can check. Uh, by the end of the Norwood, but a Norwood plant. On the cowl. On the cowl, correct. Okay. I don't know if you, you can dial that in with your camera, sure. yeah. but if you can't, I could show people interested uh, purchasers yeah. in, 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 uh, in person. Mm -hmm. And uh, why the Z28 badges is the fellow I bought it from, his son was Z28 crazy. Yeah. So he made him take off the SS badges and wanted to put a Z28 badge on. Well, who doesn't? I mean, Z28 definitely uh, adds a nice flair to it. Yeah, but you know what? It doesn't It doesn't compete with a big block, an original big block car, especially this year. Yeah. And this car. Sitting on period Kragers definitely looks really nice. Yeah, the Krager SS's, they're a nice touch. Just completes the whole theme, you know. Yeah, for the era. Sure. Any uh, new parts? Anything like that? You want to? Looks like a new uh, gas tank just, under there. 
just everything that we do, we, uh, you know, it's got Lakewood bars on the back. Um, they were actually on the car when I got them. Mm -hmm. um, I just keep up the brakes, you know, new tires. Um, I don't even tune it up myself, but I'm very capable. I bring it to a, a, a local uh, repair shop that uh, the fellow owns a 72 and a 73. So he knows the car, yeah. To do the work on it. Okay. I wouldn't bring it to some guy that's a shoemaker, you know. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Let's fire it up. Okay, okay. Sounds nice, little love, nothing crazy. Looks like a three inch back there, right? Three inch exhaust? Yeah, you have good eyes. Sounds great. Sounds really nice. Killer look too. Love the look of it. Yeah, this is the first year that the yellow was offered also uh, on the Camaro. It's Canary Corvette yellow. Hmm. And they decided to put it on the Camaro in 71. Oh, it looks killer. Well guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Again, my name is Mike from Weeby Autos. Uh, thank you so much for showing us your car, it's awesome. Thank you very much, Mike. You're welcome. And guys, if you have any questions at all, feel free to give us a call. We're at 631-339-0399. You can also check out more pictures, information, and detail on our main website. It's Weeby Autos, and we do offer worldwide shipping and financing. So thanks again for joining us today. We appreciate it.